Hello everyone, Not Labs here, and today we're just going to be looking over the tile map system in Godot 4, and yeah, let's get straight into it. So there have been a lot of changes to the tile map, and I'll be going over them, and specifically on how to program the tile map, because I've seen a lot of them explaining how you can make your tile map pretty and everything, but I am not really interested in pretty, I've never been interested in pretty, I've always been interested in programming the actual tile map, so let's get straight into it and not waste much time. Now that we have our project made, we're just going to make a simple scene, call it tile map, or not call it tile map, but give it tile map as the parent node. We're going to save it. And what do we get started with? Well, this looks different. Um, tile set. Okay, let's make a new tile set. Okay, that's interesting. We have a tile set over there. And we click it. And um, usually we just drag in our thingamajigger and there's nowhere to drag it. That's interesting, but we have two tabs over here. We can drag, oh, we can drag this over here. That's pretty cool. Uh, sure, Atlas Texture was modified. Okay, sure. And oh, looks, it seems like we already have tiles. Um, that's interesting. Uh, 16 by 16, so that means this image is 128 by 128. That makes sense, kind of, if our pixels are going to be 16 by 16 and 128 divided by 16 is 8. Yep, it is eight. If that's the case, well, then we can just start painting with our tiles, um, really. So if we just click tile map, we click a tile, we can start painting. Uh, it's as simple as that. I didn't really do anything special. I just, um, I just dragged in my image and I'm going to do it again with another image. So I'm over here in paint. I'm going to make this one, I don't know, let's say 64 by 64. And I'm going to scribble on it. I do not care about how pretty this is. I said that at the beginning, I think. Maybe I edited it out. Um, over here, I'm just gonna save it. I'm just gonna save it into our tile map project directory. I'm gonna call it um, tile set, tile set, tile set image. That's amazing. We have it over here, uh, pretty as ever. We're just going to drag and draw. Okay, now I have to go to tile set, drag and drop. That's what I did. And I say, yes, automatically make tiles for me. Okay, that's cool. Okay, I now I want to paint with these tiles. So I'm going to click on my tile map. It takes me to the tile map tab. I'm going to select this orange one, and I'm going to paint. I'm going to select this one, and I'm going to paint. I'm going to select this one, and I'm going to paint. That's pretty cool. That should, have that should have taken like two minutes. Tops. Now we're going to actually program it. So I'm going to do a really simple square. Um, so I'm just going to, in the ready function, I'm just going to say, uh, I'm just going to say 4x in, I don't know, 10, and 4y in, and 4y in 10. We're just going to say print xy. At the moment, we're just going to print xy. And what I want to do is just put this over here in the tile map world, just in case we want to do anything with it. Okay, so we run it and we see we get about 100 print statements because that's 10 by 10. Now we want to set cell, okay? We're going to set cell layer. Okay, what is this layer? I do not remember this layer from Godot 3. What is it? Can you explain? Okay, in Godot, they've now added a layer system to the tile map. Pretty cool. Um, do we need it? Not really. If you want another layer, go ahead. I'm mean, nothing. I'm not stopping you. You can name it. I don't know. This is the sky, and this would be ground. I have no clue what you want to name it, but whatever you want, go ahead. I'm just going to stick with one, and I'm just going to stick with the default one, uh, zero, because that's probably what the first one is. Uh, generally that is, and that's what it actually is. For layer, for this case, and for most of your cases ever, you're just going to put zero. Okay, that's totally cool. What are the chords? Okay, chords are where we actually are putting our tile map, or where we're putting them. If you're wondering how I'm figuring this all out, I just control click set cell. So I just control click, and it tells, it brings me to the documentation, and it says chords. Okay, I'm gonna go look down here and see where it says chords. Um, okay, I don't really see what it says chords for, but I can assume that means where I want to place my stuff. So I'm just gonna make a vector two i, which is vector two integer, and I'm just gonna put in my x and y over here. Next, source ID. What does that mean? You have to match these ID numbers. So over here is zero and over here is one. Well, I'm gonna match over here with zero and I'm gonna use the good old Godot icon. And what does Atlas coordinates mean? That's tricky because that wasn't there before. Atlas coordinates basically means where, which cell do you want to pick? How do I know which one to use? Well, if we go over here and we click on this cell or any cell for that matter, if we click select, we can see that we have Atlas chords and we can just program. So let's say I want to use Godot's, I don't know, right eye. Yes, I want to use Godot's right eye. I'm going to use vector two eye and I'm going to put five and four. I'm going to run the scene. I got a bunch of Godot eyes. Cool. I'm going to change the layer or I'm not going to change the layer, sorry. 
I'm not going to change the layer, sorry, but I'm going to change the source ID. Remember the source ID? I want to change which tile set I grab from. So over here we have the second tile set, which is ID one. Well, I'm going to put ID one. Okay. And then vector two I, uh, what do I want to use? Well, I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click my tile set tab. If you don't remember, you can just click tile map tile set and then like play around and see if your option is there. But let's say I want this. Um, I want this nice red spaghetti one. So it's going to be Atlas chords two and one. I'm going to put two and one, two and one. And I'm going to run and I'm going to get a bunch of spaghetti things. That's as simple as it is. And you can put whatever you want into X and Y, uh, whatever you want. For example, if you, I'm just showing you how simple this is. Like you could do if X plus Y modulus two, then set cell. And that will just give you a mathematical pattern. Okay. That wasn't very mathematical, but if you do like Y three, I think that would be mathematical. No. Nope, okay. If you do something like that, multiply or yeah, multiply them. Yeah, you get mathematical pattern. There you go, have, have fun with that. Um, you can expand it as well. I mean, you can do whatever you want. It's it's pretty simple. There's not much stopping you. And you can even do if random, oh, or rand f is greater than, I don't know, 0 0.5. And there you go, you have a gen, like a simple map. There you go. Like you can do whatever you want. It's the same idea. It's just a couple extra steps along the way when actually working with your tile map. And that's all you have to, you have to keep in mind chords, Atlas chords, source and layer. That's really all you have to keep in mind. And you're good as gold. Other than that, I have not much to say. I don't want to show you how to do basic, like setting up a Kenny tile asset because there's like a billion YouTube tutorials. I didn't find any that explained how to program it in my opinion. Uh, but mm, here we go. That's all I really have to say. Have an amazing day.